Thanks for checking out this unboxing video and we're in a different location because I figured uh, this is way more comfortable. It's a freaking couch before I was sitting at a kitchen table and this is just way more comfortable so let's see if it works out. You can let me know in the comments if you prefer the other location better because of lighting or whatever. Um, and then we'll see. But uh, Box of Dread, the August Box of Dread, was running a little bit late because of hurricane situation. Uh, that's what they had sent uh, in an email and that's one of the great things about Box of Dread very very good with their um, uh, Jesus communication with uh, their customers I'm a little tired it's been a, a full day of work you know up early all that so I hope there was no pop well I mean I do and I don't I hope there I hope there's a Funko pop in here but because I want one but I don't hope there is because look at this I got bashed up and if there is one in here I hope it's on this side which didn't really get bashed up that much and not this side but we'll see uh, US Postal Service come on they usually I usually don't have problems with them but you know really hope that I didn't get a really messed up pop all right so yeah so this is the August one there's only one property that was teased for this and they did say because it's like, it's gonna be all the rage if people don't think it already is. It. It. And since this box is all squished up, it's giving me a hard time with my knife. I got it though. I got it, I got it. All right. Use blind style like huge. I know they're saying that they're gonna have some changes to the box coming up uh, that they're really excited about because they got another person who's working with it, so. First item, it's an it thing, like we were saying. You'll float to September eighth. It the movie dot com slash vr. I don't know what that is. I don't see the lighting's not the best. Yeah, you can see what you need to in there. There you go. I don't know what this is though. Carefully tear along the perforation to open. Oh, it's like some sort of. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can assemble this right now. It's some sort of like view, like when I open it up, it's like a viewfinder type thing, I think. I don't understand this. Is this like one of those like slide reel things? Oh, look at this. Actually, it doesn't. I'm not reading the instructions. This is probably bad. I should probably be reading instructions. All right, well, okay. So I'll mess with this later. But basically, like you can see, like it looks like it's some sort of like viewfinder type thing. And then you probably see a creepy clown in it from it. So that's an interesting item. It's an interesting item. I don't know if I'm totally sold on it. The good thing about it is if you don't want it to take up a lot of space, it's collapsible. So that's good. Anyway, not my favorite thing. I think there's a pop in here, but it's wrapped up. So that'd be sweet. I know there's something else, I think. Something really big. I'm just going to set that to the side. Because it's in its own individual box with bubble wrap on it. So I'll do that for last. Next thing. Oh, okay. This is cool. I like this. Uh, they did a pin. I love pins. I love, love, love pins. If you if you watch my BAM box unboxings, I always say like my favorite thing about BAM boxes is pins. They've never done a pin, as far as I know, for Box of Dread, so here we go. Um, they have their own Box of Dread pin here. It says Scream, which stands for Stephen King Rules Everything Around Me, which is pretty funny. Slash cool. Let's see if I can get the, the best lighting on that. No, it's not going to lighten up. There you go. You can see it best like that. There you go. There it is. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. That's a good pin, man. I like that pin. I like pins and I like that pin. Next thing, maybe second to last. Uh, is this like a lot of it stuff? So look, it's like an inflatable it balloon. I could do without this, honestly. I'm not, I don't, you know, like inflatables and stuff like that. I don't really need it. I don't need it in this form. Um, yeah, so it's just like, it says, you can kind of see, it says it when you inflate it and it says you'll float too it says you'll float too 
as well. So, you know, maybe I'll just blow this up and then take it into work and just leave it on someone's desk for, like, creepy effect. So, it'll be good for that as a prank, but that's about it. Um, there's a button, and it button, there you go, you can see it. It's, you know, the kid with the with the rain slick on with the red balloon that says it. You know. And a it whistle. Legitimately. Okay. If I if I I'm not going to because of this, I don't want to blow people's ears out. But if I blow on it hard enough, it will rattle because there's one of those like little rubber balls inside. But it's a whistle that says it on it. This, I hate this item. This is a terrible item, actually. I prefer you not put that in. This is kind of like a borderline-ish thing because, like, you can freak people out with it and stuff like that, and that's kind of cool. But the, yeah, the whistle's a, not a good item. All right, so let's find out what this big thing is. It feels a little bit heavy-ish, so maybe it's a mug or something? Oh, it's a glass. Okay. Something you can drink out of, which is cool. And it's kind of cool. It says it. See? It. September 8th. And that says Losers Club. I assume... It's been a long time since I saw the original it, so I'm assuming that has something to do with the group that the kids in it, in the movie it, hang out in. So that's what I assume it is. Um, this is cool. I like this. Um, I don't, I don't think I really have any horror glasses or mugs or anything, so it's pretty cool to get a horror-related glass or mug. I like that item. Other than that, honestly, this is a weak box. Except, I do like the pin. I like the pin quite a bit. Let me see that again. Yeah, the pin's pretty cool. I like it. The pin, the pin and the glass, cool. But that's, you know. The viewfinder thing is a cool idea, but, like, you're going to use it once, most likely, and then maybe, you, like, show a person, and then you'll get rid of it, I'm assuming. It's not, like, a real collectible item or anything, and, and the, you know, inflatable. It's kind of a weak box, i got to be honest. I really typically like Box of Dread, um, but... I can't be too upset about it because it is a cheap box. It's 20 bucks total. And that's a great thing about the box. The pricing is so low that even if you're not like totally excited about the box, then it, it's usually still fine because, you know, like I got two items that I like. I got the pin and I got the glass. I like those, so that's fine. It's not it's not like I waste a lot of money or anything, but as far as their boxes have gone, this is actually one of the weaker ones in my opinion. So, not on, actually, I'd say it's one of the stronger ones when it comes to, like, one individual item or two individual items, but, like, overall, I think it's one of the weakest ones, so. But there's an, uh, a cool theme, and I do like them incorporating, like, things that are coming up horror-wise, like, the it movie's about to be released, well, I mean, is released at this point, so that's cool. Um, I like that angle, and I think they should look more into that, but... Um, still love Box of Dread. Gonna keep doing it. And uh, I'm gonna drink from my It glass. And yeah, I'm gonna maybe blow that balloon up and freak out one of my uh, co workers. So that'd be nice. But anyway, thank you, Box of Dread. Uh, stick around for other videos you can check out on my channel. Just look for it. If you have any ideas on stuff, boxes or whatever you wanna see, just send an email to brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, thank you for watching this and keep it brutal.